Now, much of the work of the photographer Tyler Shields has focused on the extravagance of the wealthy world of Hollywood. But for his latest collection, he's looked to another era where excess was celebrated, the Court of Versailles. The show is called, fittingly, Decadence, and the man behind the lens is here to tell us more. Uh, Tyler, what about the era of Marie Antoinette made you want to focus on this for the next the new show? Yeah, I mean, it, it's not different from the era we're in now, obviously. Um, you know, there was a lot of opulence back then, and they would build these palaces, and then essentially they became jails. You know, they couldn't go outside, they couldn't do this, so how do they entertain themselves, and, and what would they do? And that was kind of why I wanted to create this. Um, there's one of the, um, I mean, just a sort of extraordinary <laughs> sort of sense of, of just decadence. You, did you feel there was a sort of parallel between then and now? I, I alluded to it at the start. Yeah, I, I mean, I think absolutely. Um, you know, Marie Antoinette, to me, was really the first person who ever had to deal with celebrity gossip. You know, it ended yeah, up getting absolutely. her killed. <laughs> um, so, you know, e even the let them eat cake statement, you know, they've, they've now said she never actually even said that. Um, just the gossip of it kind of took over. And, so. and, and, and for, inform this fascinating piece of work. Now, you say let them eat cake. Uh, one of the pictures I wanted to pick out yeah. first is on a, a sort of a turn on that. Let them kiss. Tell me yeah. about the idea behind this. Well, again, it's, it's you know, you're trapped in these palaces, right? You, you, you have to entertain yourself. And, um, you know, you kind of have all the ladies in waiting there, and they're all looking at the two men kissing. Um, what's really funny about the photo, though, is I had someone who had a very kind of bad reaction to it. They were like, oh, I can't see two men kissing. And then I pointed out to them that it's actually a woman dressed as a man <laughs> kissing another man. That's so funny. So yeah. people are still, did you find they, that yeah. now? People are still upset by the prospect of two men kissing. I would say it was probably more accepted then than it is now. That's absolutely extraordinary. Yeah. Um, aristocracy is the next picture sure. we're going to talk about. Tell us about the thinking of, of behind this, you know, another ex extraordinary display of, of Decadence here. Yeah, so, you know, the idea with it, and what was fun about doing this shot actually was, you know, we shot this on an old 55 year old camera. So it took a long time to kind of set up each shot, and, you know, it was about six to eight seconds. Everyone had to stay still. But when we did this one, everyone just wanted to eat the desserts. <laughs> they were just like, when can we eat them? And it had been about 30 minutes of just, you know, oh, it's right there. I can't, I just want to eat it so bad. <laughs> And as it went on and it went on, that's kind of the reaction that I got out of them in the photo. So the models do eat. They do eat, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, I mean, one thing is it's throughout these pictures, I'm looking at this, really strong reactions. You've got these incredible reactions from your models. What, yeah. are, you, what are you saying to them? What do you get, how do you get them in comfortable but then also reactive? Yeah, I think, you know, it, it's obviously case dependent. So each photo is completely different. Like with that one, you know, I, the longer, if I could have made them wait for 10 hours without eating, I would have done it. <laughs> because it just, you know, the longer you can kind of do it, the better the result is. But part of, part of doing something like this is you have to really figure out who to put in the photo and what they need. And, and that's how you get the reaction. Um, interesting reaction, presumably, for the next one, jump. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Quite a, tell us about the energy of this one. Well, what was funny about doing that one was you know, he, the guy in it is a, is a well-known ballet dancer. And so he said, oh, I could, I could just jump over them. And it was the very first shot that we did, and it was the very first take. And so, you know, we get all set up, and, and they weren't even rolling on behind the scenes yet because we hadn't even started. And I was like, let's just do a test shot. And then that was it. The magic comes so quickly. Yeah. Uh, Tyler Shields, thank you so much for coming on today um, and telling us all about this. I can't wait to see what's... What's next for you? Any eras you're looking at, or? Oh man, I don't know. There's a lot of there's a lot of fun. I was just looking at a photo of the Maldives. I might have to go there. Any great excuse to get out right? there. Right. <laughs> Tyler Shields, thank you so much, and come back and tell us about the Maldives shoot when you do it. Thank and you. you can see Tyler Shields' collection. It's called Decadence. Uh, if you want to go and see it, head over to the Maddox Gallery in Mayfair. It's on there until the 24th of February.